Hello there and welcome. In the previous episode we added a few things to our pistol model, some animations, a muzzle effect and a shooting sound. In this episode we're going to create the loading for the weapon because right now we can just shoot endlessly but we do want to make our game more realistic so we're going to start by going into the weapon script and we're going to add a few more properties over here. We're going to have a public float that will be the reload time. We're going to have a public integer that will be the magazine size and also the amounts of bullet left. And we're going to have a boolean named is reloading. With this boolean we can keep track if we are reloading at this moment or not. Then inside the awake method we're going to set the bullets left to be equals the magazine size. And then inside the fire weapon method we're going to decrease the amount of bullets left each time we shoot. Underneath the fire weapon method, we're going to create another method that will be the actual reloading method. So it's going to be a private void reload. So when we start with the reload, then the is reloading boolean will become true. And then we want to invoke another method because we want to have some kind of delay until the reloading is completed. So we use invoke and we're going to have another method named reload completed and the delay will be our reload time then when the reload is done we're going to call this method so we're going to create it and when the reload is done we're going to set the amount of bullets left to be the size of the magazine because the reload is complete and now we have a full magazine we are also going to set the reloading boolean to be false. Next we want to be able to actually reload when we press some kind of key. So we're going to do this inside the update method after this first block of code. So if we press the R key and also if the bullets left is smaller than the magazine size because if we have a full magazine we don't want to be able to reload and also if we are not reloading at this moment then we are going to call the reload method. Now this will allow us to reload whenever we want when we press the R key. If you also want to add an automatic reload when the magazine is empty, then you can add this. Now I'm using these two equal signs and then false, but of course you can also remove all of this and just use this and it will be the exact same thing, but this way it's just more obvious and for some people it's just easier to read the code this way. It's also very easy to miss this small character, so it really depends on you. I'm still going to use this thing. At this point everything should work, but we also want to create some kind of UI to keep track of the amount of bullets that we have left. At the top of the script we're going to have a reference to a text mesh pro text, and of course we also need to use this package, so using TM Pro, and then at the bottom of the update method, we want to update the UI according to the amount of bullets that we have. So we're simply setting this text mesh pro text and it will be equals to this string and this string will simply show the amount of bullets left and then we have this slash and then the amount of bullets we have inside the full magazine. Now the reason we're also dividing this by the amounts of bullet per burst is because we have some weapons that use a burst fire, for example a shotgun, and each time we shoot with a shotgun it shoots more than one bullet per shot. Now if we click on our weapon and we go to the inspector we need to do a few changes. First of all we do need to set the bullets per burst to be at least one even if this weapon is not using the burst fire. Otherwise the UI will divide by zero and then we're going to get an error. So even if you're not using the burst mode, still put one over here. And if you're using the burst mode, then put the amount of bullets per burst. The other thing that we need to change is the magazine size. So you need to know how many bullets you should have in your weapon. For this pistol, we're going to have about six or seven because that's a realistic amount. Of course if you have rifles they 
will have 30 or 40 or even 60 bullets and maybe you can switch different magazines and you can play with this so we're going to have seven bullets inside the magazine now besides the bullets per burst and besides the magazine size we also need to set some kind of reload time so this will be the time that it takes for us to reload this weapon and it really depends on your weapon and it depends on the animation of your weapon so if you have a long animation, you should make this reload time longer because you do want this entire animation to complete. For now, I'm going to put something like 1.5 seconds because the reload should be rather fast and we're going to change it later if we need to. Now we also have a few other properties that I made public, but that's just for debugging so we can see what is going on when we test the game, but we don't really need to set anything inside the inspector. Another small change that I want to do is decrease the shooting delay to be 0.3 because I tested this out and 0.5 seems like too much. But again, you can play with this and put whatever you want. Next, we want to create the actual UI. So I'm going to click over here and add a canvas. And then inside the canvas, we're going to create a UI Text Mesh Pro. Then we're going to click on the canvas and we're going to change this to scale with screen size. Then we're going to double click on the canvas so we can see it inside our scene. And we're going to move this Text Mesh Pro to the bottom right corner. So we're going to click on this and we're going to move this over here and position it. Then we will click on this window and also anchor it to the corner. Next, we're going to make it look better. So we're going to center it. And as a placeholder, we're going to set zero slash zero, maybe make it bold. And now this is the way it's going to look inside our game. Maybe we can play with this a bit more. The next thing we want to do is drag this text mesh pro into the weapon script but we are not going to do it because it's not going to work when we're going to instantiate and switch between different weapons. So we are not going to drag this straight into the weapon script, but rather we're going to have a singleton that will handle our ammunition system. And over there, we're going to have a reference for this UI. And then we're simply going to change this UI using the singleton via this script. So we're simply create a new game object. We're going to name it ammo manager. Then we're going to create a script named ammo manager. This should also be a singleton. So we're going to copy all of this code and this will make it into a singleton. And then we're simply going to copy this ammo display from our weapon script and we're going to place it inside the ammo manager and we also need to use this because we're in a new script and now inside the weapon script we also need to fix this so now we're going to reference this object from our singleton so and now we can take this text mesh pro and drag it into this singleton reference and now if we run the game and we shoot, we can see that the bullets are going down. And if we press on the R key, it's going to take about two seconds and then it's going to reload our weapon. Now there's something we need to change because if we keep shooting, and we reach zero and then it will automatically reload. But if we go down, and before it reloads, we keep shooting, then it's going to go to minus one. So because we have this reload delay, then we can still keep shooting before it reloads our magazine. And this happens because we don't have any limit to the shooting. So to fix this, we go into our weapon script to this part over here when we actually want to fire the weapon and we add one more condition. So if the amount of bullets left is bigger than zero. Only then we are going to be able to shoot. And now if we shoot and we reach zero, we won't be able to shoot anymore.
and of course it will automatically reload our weapon. And that's something we can enable or disable. For now we're going to have this automatic reload, but maybe in the future we're going to just allow the player to decide for himself. Now we can obviously create some kind of reloading animation, but it's not something we're going to do in this episode, maybe in the future, I think it's just an overkill for this tutorial, but will basically just be some kind of rotation of the weapon, and then maybe we can even take the magazine out and then put it back, so you can get creative and create your own animation, we are not going to do it at the moment, but we are going to add some reloading sounds and we're going to also have a sound for an empty magazine. So when we try to shoot, but the magazine is empty. And with these sounds, the shooting will be even better. So inside the sounds folder, I imported these two sounds, the reloading and the empty magazine. And you can find both of these sounds in the description. Now we're going to open our sound manager and we're going to create two more audio sources for these clips. Now of course it's not the ideal way to do it, but because we don't have a lot of sounds we're still going to create an audio source for each new sound. So this will be reloading sound and this will be empty magazine. Then on the weapon manager, we're going to add two more audio sources. Inside the first one, we're going to drag our empty magazine and we're going to drag this entire audio source into this audio source for the empty magazine. In the second one, we're going to drag the reload clip and we're going to drag this entire audio source into the reloading sound audio source. And also make sure to disable the play on awake and also here. Now you can understand that when we are going to have more and more sounds this is not an ideal way but we're going to deal with that when we have more sounds. So now we want to be able to activate these sounds and we're going to do it inside the weapon script. So inside the update method we are going to add an if statement. So if the amount of bullets left equals zero and is shooting. So if we are trying to shoot while we have zero bullets, we're going to play this sound. So sound manager instance empty magazine and we're going to play this sound. Then we're going to copy this and we're going to play the reload sound when we actually reload. So it's going to happen inside the reload method. So over here, we're going to play the reload sound. Now the reason that I made the reload time 1.5 seconds is because we don't have an animation but we do have this sound. This actual file is 1.2 seconds long and that's why I made the reload time 1.5 seconds. Of course I can also decrease it to be 1.2 so it will be the exact time it takes to play this sound but we're just going to leave it at 1.5 and give it some more time and let's see how it sounds. Now it's hard to hear the empty magazine sound because when we reach zero it automatically starts reloading so it will be hard to hear it. But if we're going to disable the automatic reloading, we're going to be able to hear the empty magazine sound. So let's disable this automatic reloading for now. And if we shoot and reach zero bullets, we can hear this empty magazine sound. So that's all for this episode. In the future we're also going to have an option to have more bullets because right now we can endlessly reload our weapon and that's not realistic. We do want to have some kind of limit to our 
overall amount of ammunition. So we're going to be able to pick up ammunition from the floor and then we're going to have some kind of ammunition reserve and each time we reload our weapon it's going to take some bullets from this reserve and then when the reserve is done we're not going to be able to reload at all. So it's something we're going to create in a few more episodes. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're still not subscribed. A lot of you are watching these tutorials and I'm very happy, but most of you are not even subscribed. So I will really appreciate if you subscribe and if you leave a like and see you next time.